everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. If you hear Naming in the background, that is my dog decided to have a snack. Anyway, uh, I have a super duper um, Dollar Tree slash discount store haul. If you guys have been watching my videos, then you know that I have been spending my staycation, at least part of it, cleaning my apartment and reorganizing everything. And so there have been things that need to be replaced. Uh, <clears throat> things that need to be replaced and things that need to be cleaned and things that need to be organized. And so I'm getting through this process. So I stopped off at the Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of things. I have some fall stuff here. I have some other stuff here. So the first thing that I'm going to, well, not the first thing, but... <clears throat> among the things that I'm going to replace are my doormats. Um, I had picked them up at the Dollar Tree. They have worn worn out. And so I'm going to toss them and replace them with fall doormats. So I picked up two fall doormats. I wish the guy hadn't rolled them because now they're rolled. Okay, so the first one. The first one says, hi there, pumpkin. So I got that one. And then the next one says, gather here. I don't know why it looks, oh, you know what it is? That's what that is. It looks like there's a dirt mark there. It's, these mats are very thin. It just says decor. There's two, I don't know why it's got two tags that say decor. The other one has only one tag. They must've tagged this twice. And, of course, my dog is so interested in what I'm doing. <coughs> so, I picked up the two doormats. Now, I have messed up my calendar because it kept falling off the door because I don't have it nailed to the door. I have it taped to the door because I try not to put nails in the walls and the doors and things. I was looking for a new... 2022 calendar but they've already moved on to 2023 which is okay because my mom usually always has extra calendars hanging around that she doesn't use she usually donates to them to, she usually donates them to the library because she'll donate to like you know save the whales or save the fish or save the whatever and they give her a calendar so I'm sure she has some hanging around. But anyway, I picked up these like religious -y calendars, which I like to get calendars that have Bible verses. Um, and I usually keep one at home and one at work. And this is, this says Garden of Grace. This is a 2023 calendar. It says an inspirational calendar. <clears throat> and each one has like a quote here. And it says, moments spent in the presence of God are like peaceful, are like a peaceful garden of grace. Each month features beautiful floral photography and encouraging scriptures you can enjoy and be encouraged by all year, all year long. So, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this one for home or work. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> the second one I got is this lighthouse one. And it says, light for the journey an inspirational calendar featuring scripture from the King James Bible. And then these are the, these are the lighthouses. I might use this one for home. Uh, it says lighthouses act as beacons in the darkness for those who seek direction and security. Light for the journey combines devotional thoughts, encouragement from God's word and beautifully photographed lighthouses, blah, blah, blah. And so there you can see the lighthouses. Then I picked up they still have this and I picked up a few more boxes because I don't know when they're going to run out. I got some, um, some bubble gum cereal to last me a while. I love the bubble gum cereal so very much. <clears throat> then what else? I needed a toothbrush. So I got this one. I wanted to get a single toothbrush. I usually get medium. This is soft. They only had soft in this kind. And this is interesting because it says Dental Guru, which is a name brand. 
They usually do charcoal stuff. Dental Guru Luminance Panoramic. Luminance Panoramic. Sounds fancy. I got one of these uh, work lights. I don't know if I'm going to keep it in the car or next to my um, bed for like when I drop things and they roll under the bed and I need to see what the hell I'm doing. I have a couple of lanterns. I don't know where they are that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Um, but this I figured is a good thing to have around. This takes how many batteries? I think it takes, uh, <coughs> what does it say? Three AAA batteries. So I did pick up some batteries and I made sure I got the heavy duty batteries this time. I got three, I got two of the AAA. They come four in a pack. This is the Panasonic brand. Super heavy duty power. So two of those. And then I picked up two of the four packs of the double A Panasonic super heavy duty power batteries. Then I got this uh, full decor that I'm going to put together. I'm going to get rid of some of the spring decor that's over here. And I found this. <coughs> I love I love this uh, teal for the autumn. It looks like the pumpkin cupcake spray from last year from Bath and Body Works. Anyway, so this says Autumn Blessings and it has blue, blue pumpkins. And then I found this, which is really heavy. It says, be blessed, be thankful. So I'm going to put this little trio of pumpkins next to this because they match and I like the uh, color coordination. You don't need to do orange and yellow for fall, orange, yellow, and brown for fall all the time. <clears throat> I did pick up a sign. They did have a pumpkin patch one, but I'm so sick of the pumpkin patch ones. This says homemade hot apple cider served here, mold with cinnamon sticks and cloves. So I picked that up. And then I got this one, which also has the blue pumpkins. And this says, welcome fall. So that'll be good for my front door. A little round sign there. I used up all my sponges. Well, not all of them, but these kind anyway. So I got these Scrub Buddy um, nail guard sponges. You can put your your hands in there. It has like a little hole in it. See? And uh, it protects your nails while you're scrubbing. So scrub buddy sponges. I got some, get into the bottom here. <coughs> okay. I got some wipes. I picked up the Be Pure, <coughs> Be Pure citrus scented hand wipes. They had these in a couple of different scents. I smelled the other scents. They were disgusting. These happen to smell really good. So I am going to put these in my purse because I do have antibacterial wipes. These just say hand scented hand wipes. Um, these are 20 wipes. If I'm using a smaller bag and I need to carry wipes with me, I have these. Then I also picked up the Aquarelle antibacterial travel wipes because I'm going to be going to a outdoor festival soon. So I'm going to need wipes that are compact and antibacterial. And then also because I'm going to this outdoor fair <coughs> where it's going to be extremely hot, I thought I would try these. I'm going to try them out ahead of time to see if they actually work. These are supposed to be cooling wipes. This person is very zen here. And there's 15 in here. So we'll see. And then along with that cooling wipes is a cooling mist. It says women's health and wellness. Uh, whole body.
bottle ET 10 inches away, spray the back of the neck and the wrists. Then with your eyes closed, spray your face, neck and upper chest as needed. That's interesting. So we'll see if this does anything. I sprayed it on my hand in the store. I don't feel any cooler. So, and then I got this, which I do like the makeup crayons from LA Colors, but they break. They break very easily. So I have given up on them. But this one is three in one lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow, which I wonder like if you went somewhere and then this was your only makeup, like if you use this as your lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow, what that would be like. And this is in the uh, shade pink satin. So they redesigned the, the packaging. They're doing it as a three in one. <clears throat> I want to see if it got any stronger as far as, you know, this, the top part breaking off. So we'll see how that is. Um, might as well try it out. And then I went to the discount store because there was stuff that I needed that the Dollar Tree did not have. So this is all in one. Let's see how this is. That's what that looks like. I don't know, can I do some up here and make my cheeks red? You know, could this really be? Could it really be blush and then lipstick and then eyeshadow? Can you imagine? I don't know. So we'll see about that. So that's everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I ended up spending $30 in the Dollar Tree, which is more than I've spent in a while. Okay, so some other stuff that I picked up. This I picked up from the discount store in my, near my house. It's not a chain. It's like an independent store, so I doesn't even pay for me to tell you what chain it is it's just a discount store mm -hmm. i needed a new shower curtain i like the shower curtains in dollar tree they're very thin and cheap but they last a while and you don't have to put like a liner you just use the shower curtain the way it is it's paper thin and once it starts to get nasty or moldy or whatever which actually they have they don't really i just like to change them out from time to time so I usually get them from there. I don't like having a shower curtain liner and then a shower curtain because the liner always gets moldy and then to take off a liner and a shower curtain is a giant pain in the butt. So I wanted to get one from Dollar Tree. They didn't have it. So I found this one. It says Piva Piva Shower Curtain. This is like a rubbery shower curtain so you don't need a liner they had it in a bunch of different colors they had blue they had a fuchsia color they had like a gray color i got the purple um this was 4.99 it says two-toned 3d shower curtain so i don't know if you can see it's how rubbery it is yeah so we're gonna use that oh look it's um what do you call it see look liner not required that's what i was looking for and look it's like ombre kind of i didn't even notice that so 4.99 for that then they were having i'm always running out of antibacterial wipes i keep them everywhere i keep them those are regular wipes by the way i keep wipes everywhere i keep wipes in the bathroom I keep wipes in the kitchen. I keep antibacterial wipes in the car. I keep them for disinfecting things in the house. I keep antibacterial wipes and regular wipes just everywhere. So they had these Harris disinfecting wipes, which, you know, I like the snap closure. They had these Harris 
I've never heard of this brand. Disinfecting wipes, they were two for a dollar. So I thought that was a good deal since there's 72 wipes in each thing. So two for a dollar on those. And then I did pick up the bubblegum mouthwash last time I was at the Dollar Tree. But I did want to get some actual... This is, that pink is really pink. I wanted to get some Listerine. Because I don't know if that bubblegum mouthwash really does anything. So I did want to have some extra, you know, like real mouthwash in the house. Uh, but the last bottle of Listerine I had, it's like so strong burns whatever i found this for 2.99 in the discount store this is listerine mint and green tea milder taste mouthwash so we'll see how that is removes up to 97 percent of germs left behind after brushing zero alcohol so let's see how this is if this doesn't burn my mouth off <clears throat> then i have no utensils I use plastic utensils all the time and the regular utensils that I had just got kind of lost over the years or they got rusted. And so I was down to like two knives and a spoon. So I was like, I should have regular utensils in the house, even if I'm not using them often, because what if I run out of plastic utensils or <clears throat> what if I need to cut like a steak or something or whatever? So, I found this Chef Valley three-piece knife set, steak knife set. So, yeah, I got that. The only thing that I did save was I have a butcher knife. Um, I think they all came together as a knife set that I bought like eight years ago. And the butcher knife is the only one that's left because I never use it. Um, so, I got this knife set steak knife set for $2.99 and then I was gonna get they had packets of like three spoons three forks three butter knives or whatever so I was just gonna get you know like two three and three and three and they were like three dollars each or whatever they were but then I was like you know what let me just get this so it has your big spoons little spoons Big forks, little forks, the butter knives. So, okay, so it says here. This is a stainless, this is home basics. Stainless steel, 20-piece flatware set with storage caddy. Um, four dinner forks, four salad forks, four dinner knives, four tablespoons, four teaspoons. So you get all of that. That's 20 pieces. It was $15.99. They had all different colors. I decided to get the teal color because that's just what struck my eye first. It comes in this little caddy so now i have utensils and that is the end of the dollar tree and discount haul so i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to comment rate subscribe follow me on instagram at shopping and sense i will see you all in a future video but until then goodbye everyone out there youtube land